artists all artists all are problem solvers. You figure out, you create a problem in your head, which is an art piece, and you figure out how to solve it. So you have the superpower of problem solving. So that's one great thing about being an artist. The furthermost piece is representing um, more of textile, so it's a, a simple like leaf structure. I was looking at like loose threads, parts of a loom to um, motivate that section. Their structures become more complex and they have more negative spaces, more cutouts, to a point where once you get to the third layer, which is this um, eye shape here. Um, they start to look almost like a circuit board or um, just like travel routes or a map. And in the very center, it's a complete circle where it's kind of focused in on the center. And the light, the lighting source, which is going to be behind all of this, is where most of the light is going to be coming from. <music> before. I've never been asked to do anything like this before, so it's important to me because it's I've learned more from this than I ever have. It's been the scariest thing, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. So it, I've, I think a, a lot of my work will develop from this. I love the process of it. I've loved going through this with Family Trust because it definitely gave me an idea of what I was what I will be doing. The piece is sort of concentrated on, on the themes that Family Trust really wanted to bring importance to. So connecting the history of Rock Hill, which is sort of centralized around the mill and the railroad, to the present and the future. So the people who would be walking into the bank and who would be seeing it and who would be affected by the artwork. It's, wood is such a symbolic material. It, you know, it is strength and endurance, but it also connotates community, history, um, family. I, I did want to say that, you know, being able to work with Family Trust has really been an honor. And so I'm very grateful for, you know, the opportunity that they provided and being able to support and give that sort of encouragement that what you're doing is, is actually important and, you know, it's something that we believe in. We met with Family Trust and they talked about um, ties to the, the Rock Hill community with textiles and the textile industry, especially when Rock Hill was being established. So I really, I did a lot of research with how textiles are made and patterns were designed and I ended up going with a really organic design with kind of a thread that flows through the piece as well as incorporating the Family Trust logo and colors but keeping it very organic with thread to connect to the textiles. This project has provided a great opportunity as far as learning and bettering myself as an artist and as a person. Um, I've gotten a lot of experience with writing proposals and budgets and working with a client and figuring out how to make the client happy, how to keep my, um, my ideas in my work while making the client happy and kind of that whole dynamic between the artist and the client. Um, I've also gotten the opportunity to work with a lot of new materials that I wouldn't have been able to work with without this project. Um, I'm working with resin and laser cut steel, which is something that I wouldn't have been able to do outside of this. My pieces for the bank are based off the seven core values of Family Trust, um, each encompassing a different idea to, communica to communicate community. My work is really dependent or driven by found objects, so the idea that I could make sculptures for Family Trust that incorporated my love of found materials was really the driving motivation for creating this body. It's a very rare occasion that students right out of college work in the public art realm and make a profit, so super excited to have this opportunity. Thank you.